triclosine is an endocrine disruptor and a suspected carcinogen, and it can bioaccumulate in your fat cells for long periods of time. It is also now detectable in human breast milk, blood, and urine samples. Hi there, it's Annette here. Triclosane is a synthetic chemical with antimicrobial properties which destroy or inhibit the growth of microorganisms like bacteria or fungi. That sounds like a good thing, right? Well, it used to be, and then things went the wrong way. When triclosane was first introduced in the early 70s for use in hospitals, it actually was a good thing, as it was crucial to keep medical instruments sterile. However, over the last decade, with the rapid increase in the use of triclosine in products, the chemical is becoming severely overused. So where can triclosine be found? This chemical is used in a wide variety of household products, including soaps, toothpaste, cosmetics, deodorants, personal care products, dish detergent, first aid, kitchenware, toys, and even workout clothing. That's a long list when the original intent of triclosine was meant to be for hospitals only. There's a good reason to believe that the overuse of products with triclosine has contributed to bacterial resistance in the same way we are cautioned against use of antibiotics. So basically, it is becoming useless. It is almost everywhere, and on top of that, there is a negative impact on health. The big issue that is that triclosine is an endocrine disruptor and a suspected carcinogen, and it can bioaccumulate in your fat cells for long periods of time. It is also now detectable in human breast milk, blood, and urine samples. So you collect and store more and more triclosine in the body over time. The use of triclosine is linked to the following effects on human health. Abnormal endocrine system thyroid hormone function. Weakening of the immune system. Children exposed to antibacterial products at an early age have an increased chance of developing allergies, asthma, and eczema. Uncontrolled cell growth. Developmental reproductive toxicity, irritation to eyes and skin, toxic to aquatic organisms and the environment as it does not easily degrade. So what are your thoughts here? Should you continue to expose yourself to chemicals that can harm your health and make your life really miserable? If you're anything like me, the answer is no. And the action is to switch to 100% all natural skincare and femcare products and avoid all products with triclosane.